Ready, set, go. <sighs> Greetings and determined spectators of the World Wide Web. I am Tall Lanky Guy and welcome to Woodsy. Uh, this is a game that I found for free on Itch.io and the basic concept of it apparently was to cr to combine two genres one being the walk around style of animal crossing and horror which is what we have here so other than that i don't really know much about it i did do a little bit of testing around the gameplay it's a little bit laggy but not so much that it's unplayable so let's see what we can do around here there's a door I'm gonna click on the door. It's locked. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I can, I can handle that. You know, just a, just a nice walk around the, walk around a, 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 a graveyard. You know, nothing, nothing weird about that. Is there anything that we can do around here other than walk around the graveyard? This looks like something. Hello there. Who are you? You look interesting. You look friendly. Hi. You don't look friendly. You look cross in general. Froggy is hungry. I am too. Okay. Can I help you with that? Should I find you some food? I don't know. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll be right back, friend. Sarah. That's her name. I'll be right back, Sarah. Okay, I'm gonna find you some food. I'm gonna find you the best dang food you ever saw. I'm not sure if this is the same door that I came to before. It very well might be. Is it locked? It's locked. The factory is locked. Okay, so what about that? What, uh, what exactly should I do about that? Is that fire or is that a person? This pink thing looks like a person. That looks like a... Animal? It looks like something that I can talk to. Morale, it's a little guy. Okay, hello little guy. Wow, murr, murr, murr. Okay, wise words. Thank you little guy. Oh, I think I see a... I think I see a treasure chest over there, unless that's a door. That's totally a door. That's the door that I was at before. Okay, not the door I want. That's fine. That's fine. I can wander around for a little bit longer. What's this? Uh, there we go. Can I hop, hop on pop? Hop on pop. There we go. Where's the, where was the little thing that I... Why'd you move? You moved. Or did it move? Why'd it move? Did I move it? I don't remember trying. Okay, bye! See ya! Have, have, have a good day! Okay... Suddenly I become irked. Suddenly something about this is not what I want. Hi there, friend! You! I'm gonna be honest, I'm having a hard time being optimistic about your current situation. You look like you're having a hard time there, friend. What you doing? Hey! Sorry about the mess in here. I've been meaning to clean up. Okay, that's... that's good. Uh, what's going on? Are you going to Peter's place? It's his birthday. I didn't know that! No one told me it was Peter's birthday. Are you going? You look like you got plans. Well, can you bring him this? Sure. Where is he? Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'll, I'll let him know you give him your thanks. This is weird. This is eerie to say the least. Anything in here? Anyone I need to know about? Anyone else want to give me some vital organs to bring to people's birthday parties? Because that's a thing that I'm doing now. That's a part of the game that I'm experiencing. Is this to Peter's? 
There's some cave. There's a cave here. I feel like this might. Wait, can I turn on my flashlight? No. No. Okay. I can't turn on my flashlight. All right. Hello. Oh, my flashlight is already on. Apparently. What is this? Um. Cool. It's the last time I put a living heart and put a person's heart on on a thing it kind of conjured up a demon but uh can I take it back webcam cut out for a second there excuse me oh hi there um can I help you are you Peter I just I I was just I was just putting the I was just putting the thing over on the on the thing. Is that is that what you wanted? Is that happy birthday? Are you Peter? Oh, it is Peter. Hello, Peter. You seem well. Thank oh thank you. okay I got the factory key. You're welcome. Happy birthday, Peter. Have a great day. Okay, all right. I don't know what it is about this game. Maybe it's the fact that everyone's just sort of acting like everything's okay. Uh, you know, the art design is very, very impressive. I really can't gotta hand it to the to the peeps that made this. Uh, just a really good time all around. It's locked. Do I have inventory? Con control? No. Okay, so that turns on and off the flashlight. I gotta find the other door. Where did the other door go? I see the stone obelisk is just straight up gone now. That's good. You know, I'm glad. I'm glad that I can. That I can make a difference in this world. If only for, you know, putting a heart on a stump for a three or many eyed. Gazelle thing? Deer? I don't know. Oh, hello, it's a cylinder. Hello, cylinders. Can I help you? Is there anything I can do around here? Here's some stairs. This looks promising. Hello? Anyone up here that I can help? Hi there, friend. What are you doing? What's up with you? Hello! Hello, Thomas. You look... Well, welcome to my lab, friend. Oh, I'm glad that he considers me my his friend. I would be concerned otherwise. Uh, I've been working on my latest experiment. All that I can see that behind you, the the lava lamp that you got, the world's largest lava lamp. It's very impressive. A new body for me. Oh, is that what that is? Okay, that's very ambitious of you. Glad this one has gotten too old. You know that happens. That's a thing that happens to people sometimes. I understand. What's that? Newton is missing his legs? Was that the guy that was sitting in his house? Kind of not able... Was that the guy that gave me the heart? I think that was the guy that gave me the heart. Oh, I took them. Oh, well, that... That would explain things. Suddenly I'm a little less... Feeling a little, I'm a little feeling, I'm feeling a little uneasy at this point. Seeing as I'm talking to someone that took another person's legs. I suppose he can have them back. I got bones. Hey. Okay. I can always find another pair. <laughs> hey. Bye Thomas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. And I really hope you don't take my legs. That would that would be much appreciated. Quite frankly, that would just be real, real happy. Happy part of my life is not losing my legs. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when I when I lose my legs, I tell ya, I just I'm just not a huge fan. Not the biggest fan. No, call it a personal preference. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. 
Where are the where where were the huts? I need to I think this is the right spot. No, this is this is Peter's place. Maybe I should go this way? This looks like this looks right. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Newton? That was your name, right? Newton? You're the one that doesn't have any legs? Hey! Can you bring him this? Okay! Maybe not. You're not the one that doesn't have legs. I actually saw the one leg that you have. So, I don't know why I thought you didn't have legs. I'm gonna... Alright. I'll try and see if I can find someone that does have a lacking in legs. Hey, have you seen, have you seen the, have you seen the guy? Have you seen Newton? It's a lot of, there's lots of fish in the lake. Can you swim in there and get some for us? I guess I can do that if, you know, seeing as all this is, is a big old fetch quest. I'm gonna find you a fish. Hi there, fish. I got you a fish. Okay. Let's, um... Let's get you a fish. Is this the kind of fish that you wanted? It was really the only... Hi there, stone obelisk. I didn't see you there. A little bit worried as to why, what you're doing there. Thank you, mister. You're very welcome. You should take some to Martin, too. Yeah, Martin lives in the hut. He's usually hungry. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'll go give him, get him some, get him a fish. Alright, excuse me, fish. You are needed for a mission. Uh, a fetch quest mission, to be precise. I don't know why I needed to tell you that. Because you're gonna be dead in a few minutes. Because you're gonna get eaten. That's just kind of how it goes. I don't know why I'm talking to a fish. Especially one that I just took out of the water. But, you know, the things that you do when you're dealing with the stuff that I'm dealing with right now. Hey, Martin! Brought you some fish. No problem. Just who I, who I am. Can you bring that gift to Peter for his birthday? I already did. Are, probably in this cave just down the path. Okay. I'll, maybe I'll go talk to Peter. See if he... See if he liked his gift. I really hope he did. I would really be worried if he... Didn't like the gift that I got him. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Uh, let's go down this way. Let's go down this way. Hi, Sarah. Good to see you again. And, oh, I, maybe I should tell her that I brought Martin some fish. Hey. Martin lives in the hut. Yeah, I already, I already grabbed him the thing. Yeah. Um, are you the one that doesn't? No, you're the... You're the little guy, or a big guy, or a little, or a good guy. What a guy. Cool dude. Should I talk to, maybe I should talk to Peter. Hey, Peter. What up? What up, Peter? Hmm? Can I talk to you, Peter? Hi. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Peter. Happy birthday to me. That's all you're going to say? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hope you have the best of times. That stone obelisk keeps popping up wherever I go. I'm not much, I'm, I don't know if I much care for it at this point. Seeing as I've had some bad experiences with obelisks and the like. But whatever. Here we go. Okay, let's read some of these. Uh, oh, at 01010111, the Ace Ventura of Hardly Living. Alright, that's cool. Hi there. Oh, are you, are you, are you Newton? You, this is Newton. No way, where'd you find him? Okay. Tom is again that weirdo. I know. He's weird, that guy, with all of his, you know, stealing limbs and stuff. Oh, while I was laying around here, I found your keys. Cool. Perfect. Alright. Thank you, Newton. Have a good day. Wow. Not sure why I didn't think to check in the graveyard before. 
because that's just kind of the kind of game that this is. But uh, ah, look at this nice low res fireplace and and single texture walls and flooring. Very nice, wonderful. Time to go to sleep. Hmm. Anything we're gonna go on here? Anything? Hmm? What is that? Oh, hi there. Oh, thank you for playing. Perfect. Okay, well. Well, that was really, that was really delightful. Thank you for playing. Uh, Godan programming at Moahu. Uh, ninja ropes for the delicious sounds. Just the, mmm, ah. Oh. Just those loveliest sounds. Special thanks to RBA Game Jams. That's cool. All right, well that was woodsy. Here we are. That was woodsy. That was delightful. It was a very charming, charming style of game. Um, I feel like there there's a lot that can be gotten out of this, honestly. If, you, if they made it into a longer game, I think it could be really interesting. But for now, that is all I've got for today, so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, you can click that lucky those uh, that little like button down there. Um, if you got comments about other games that I should play, I'll put a link to got a long playlist of scary games that I've played in the past. Um, I'll put that up there, and uh, yeah, if you got thoughts, comments, suggestions. Feel free to put those in the comments, and if you haven't subscribed, that's a thing you can do. I'll see you later.